Stop worrying and start living. Joy is in the air. August 26, 2014. Dear ones, you have transitioned so rapidly, we often have difficulties understanding how you have done so. You started, as it were, in the basement and now you are in the attic ready to fly into whatever it is you have long dreamed of. Perhaps you question your growth for you think you remain in the house of yesterday. Such is not true. The United States pioneers of the 1700s and 1800s moved westward despite almost impossible hardships. They did so without envisioning all that would happen as a result of their courageous wanderings. The same is true for you. You cannot yet grasp how important your tenacity is and has been for opening your new land, the land of your inner being. You indeed are and have been as courageous as any physical pioneer. You do not equate physical exploration with inner being exploration. Not because your inner being explorations were not difficult for those at the forefront, but because your 3D world is attuned to outer directed experiences. Physical exploration seems more difficult. But both are equally difficult, and both create new worlds and new lands. Some of you are upset because you have not yet created your dream life. Allow yourself to grow into your dream life, just as is true as a teen waiting for the time when they are allowed to date. You are creating your new world more rapidly than you now envision, but not as rapidly as you would like. This transition is not a fast food experience, but instead an elegant meal in a fine dining environment. Know that you are a pioneer a trailblazer of the most courageous sort, and the results of your trailblazing are beginning to show themselves to you. Some of you feel nothing has changed in your being for months. If you have exited your cocoon, such is not true. You are merely ignoring or denying your new being. Examine your interests. Examine how you interact differently with others, and they with you than was the case just months ago. Examine how unimportant old wounds have become when you try to create a flame of anger. Such thoughts seem almost boring now even though just days or weeks ago stories of past hurts shifted your emotions. You are not the person you were when you started your ascension journey. You are lighter emotionally and physically. Perhaps not as indicated by your 3D scales, but most certainly in your interests and joy. Many have theorized what ascension means. Each of you is ascending as is correct for your belief patterns. A concept that seems chaotic, but is similar to creating your personal world for as long as you wish after Earth death. You are on your unique path now, including your beliefs and explorations of ascension. Some of you will transition to a new physical location, without the interference of 3D beings. Others of you will continue in the current Earth realm exploring how new Earth and 3D Earth are compatible. Others will create a personal world of fear. None is incorrect or correct. Just as is true for Earth death, there will be as many ascension experiences as there are individual beings on the planet. You now are concerned that each person or entity that follows you will need to create his or her own new Earth exploration guidebook. Such is true to a certain extent, just as was true for pioneers and explorers. Some pioneers reported that areas west of the United States Mississippi River were a barren wasteland. Others that the land was fertile and inviting. Still others that it was a money-making venture. All stories were true, for the outcome depended on the goals and experiences of those settling the new land. Your ascension is similar, merely of inner world realms, instead of physical areas. Now some of you are afraid you will create a terrible personal experience. No, the objective of your new earth being is joy and love, instead of the fear that was dominant in 3D physical pioneer days. Stop worrying and start living. Joy is in the air. So be it. Amen. Channeled by Brenda Hoffman. www.lifetapestrycreations.com